An Introduction of Ticket to Ride Ticket to Ride is a railway-themed German-style board game. It's one of the best family games, with 2 to 5 players, and 30 to 60 minutes of play. In this game, players collect and play train cards to claim train routes across the map. Points are earned based on the length of the claimed routes. This game is very easy to play, super fun, and doesn't take a lot of time. There are many different sequels for the game, but Europe is considered one of the best maps. The game component for the Europe sequel primarily includes A map of Europe 240 colored train cars 158 illustrated train car cards and 46 destination ticket cards, including 40 regular routes and 6 long routes. It also includes some other components, which are not so important. 15 colored train station You don't usually need to play the train station. 5 wooden scoring markers 1 scoring card one bonus for the longest path. The purpose of the game is to claim routes on the map. The more routes you claim, the more points you can score. The longer the routes, the higher you can score. If you can finish one of the 46 destination ticket cards, which are dealt randomly, you get extra points. In order to claim a route, you need to play the same colored and number of train car cards as indicated by the route. Then put the same number of train cars on the claimed route. For example, if you control yellow pieces, if you want to claim the red route from Zakrab to Sarajevo, you need to play three red train car cards and place three yellow train cars to claim the route. Then, you discard those three red train car cards. This is the most basic rules. You can read the rules booklet for more detailed information. It seems like simple, but you need to plan ahead on how to best claim your routes, how to choose which train car cards to use, and how to block other players from claiming routes. In the end, only the player with the most points win. So you want to be that player. This is a great game that makes lots of fun. It costs about $70, but if you buy a second-hand game, it only costs about $30, which is a good price for lots of fun. The good thing about a second-hand board game is that you can buy it and resell it at the same price. Basically, you can play the game for free. Due to the diminished return for any fun activities, you will feel less fun after repeatedly playing, even for the best games. You always need to find new and best games to play to gain maximum fun experience. Thanks for watching.